Ole do it. Hey, Ole do it. Great morning, y'all. Great morning, great morning, great morning, great people. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to Your Right Now Clarity Messages on this morning's message. I hope y'all are doing well and that today is going fantastic for you. Um, y'all, I just got done with the gym. It's still raining here in Los Angeles, but that's okay. It ain't going to stop no at show. Y'all know we tapping in with spirit now. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to get our get our spirituals, motivationals this morning. See what spirit now want to talk about, what the word is, how we're going to be looking this week. I hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. Um, it was a good weekend, y'all. It was a good weekend. I had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with Padre god great morning y'all great morning when y'all come in like the live share the live share the love so these messages can get out to everyone's everyone's oh let's do it let's get to it um we're gonna we're gonna just start with the messages and then what y'all said child they so excitable to be back in the morning they are so excited to be back in the morning so oh let's do it let's see what's going on let's see how we starting off our week this week look i didn't even look high priestess energy in our spirituals, very much aware. Uh-oh, what kind of tower moments happening, y'all? Somebody got a tower moment coming up. I got to keep it. Why? February 16th may be an important on this day as well. New people coming in. Somebody finna make a decision. Is it going to change your life and your circumstances? I don't know. Let's see what else. We'll keep them over there. What else, child? Your intuition telling you something is going to be disrupted. Something's coming. Something's going to change. Why y'all didn't want? We didn't even pray. Can we pray first? Oh, let's do it. Oh, God, give me the strength, the wisdom, and the courage to do the things you put me here to do in a way that pleases you and serves the people you put me here to serve. Archangel Michael, bless, protect, and shield me, my family, my children, my community, and their families from all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy, sin intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown. Archangel Gabriel, remove me and allow me to be a clear and open messenger and channel of love, light, and healing energy for all who need to receive it today. Archangel Uriel, put me in the divine flow and in divine alignment with truth, clarity, wisdom, guidance, insight, knowledge, and understanding from the Most High God. Archangel Raphael, open our hearts, our eyes, our ears, and our minds to the truth, clarity, wisdom, and guidance of our Father God who art in heaven. May I only speak the words to God's people that elevate, empower, uplift, and encourage them every day and in every way. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All it do it. All it do it, y'all. Let's get to it. This is a lot later than I normally come on, but I spent some extra time at the gym this morning um, than I normally do. So it is what a TI is. I'm still going to break these down into individual videos, and then I'll have some more videos that I'm going to record after this as well. So y'all let me know if those are working out for y'all. It's new for me. Um, instead of posting all lives, instead of posting it as a live and just trying to do them separately, I can just do one video and break it down into what smaller pieces. So y'all might be breaking something, some things down into smaller pieces. What y'all said, child, the people them know y'all is still in town. Where y'all was going to go? It wasn't even nowhere for y'all to go. Child, they've been cutting up because they know they get to come back outside and play, child. They was on. No, y'all wouldn't. Y'all wouldn't even more punishment. Padre God just had something else he had to get set up first. Child, it was ready. I feel like something, whatever's been restricting you, holding you back, this is a tower moment. What's happening? What's going on with the tower moment, child? Let's see. What else? What is this tower about? What's your intuition is trying to warn you about, tell you about? It don't have to be bad. Come on, Georgia. Georgia on my mind. Uh-oh, well, at least it came up in the reverse. Come on, spirit, obstacles and challenges. This is, I think, the five of, uh, what is this? The five of pentacles or the five of cups? I mean, no, it's not the five of cups. Hold on, let me see, y'all. I don't remember. It looks like the five of... Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Child, I don't know. I don't use these that much. That looks like the Seven of Pentacles. So this must be the Five of Wands, child. The end of obstacles, competition, conflict, internal and external, overcoming challenges, period. We receive it. 
something may be coming in that is getting ready to move you right out of that season, child. What's going to get disrupted? The end of delays. How many more? How y'all going to do that? Child, that's a lot that y'all want me to do. Let's see what else. Uh-uh. Well, come on, positive movement forward. So what is this then? This looks like the Eight of Wands. I don't know, child. Look, something's going to happen that's going to disrupt whatever these obstacles, overcoming challenges and obstacles. Telling you, positive movement forward. If you've been feeling stuck, if you've been feeling like things have not been moving forward, it feels like it's the end of delays. Padre God may be coming in to disrupt some things, child. Mm-hmm. This always makes me think of the Six of Cups. You're finally, it feels like you're finally moving forward. You're finally um, like gaining momentum, overcoming challenges. Uh, look, sidestepping who? Anything, anything that is going to keep you message, keep you from your success, keep you from victory, keep you from accomplishment. And some of y'all are really learning how to trust your intuitional child and you're just now allowing yourself to be blocked. Now, I randomly came on and did a live yesterday, y'all, and Wait a minute, Mr. Truck. Is you going to make it? Do I need to move my vehicle? Y'all, the little people them be having me blocked in, Lord. Don't hit my car, Mr. People them in the rain. Anyway, I'm back. Yesterday, I wasn't planning on going live, but Padre God was like, child, go on, go live. So some of y'all might just be doing some random stuff, shifting your energy, shifting things around and doing what's necessary. It feels like you're getting back into alignment with whatever it is, your purpose is, what it is you're supposed to be doing. But it's going to be some disruptions in this thing. Who doing it? Y'all doing it? Mm -hmm. What's it about? Anything that was trying to keep you from moving forward. The enemy been trying to be slick, child. He think he's slick, but he ain't slick. And so, oh, some of y'all, this is emotions. Okay. Overcoming what? Feelings of not being able to do something, not being able to com accomplish. Focused on your love life instead of work. Careful, child. Look, some of y'all, I know to tell, that's what's going to be the tower for some of y'all. Somebody got a person coming in. Your emotions are getting the better of you. Careful not to allow work to interfere with love or vice versa. So some of y'all, maybe you've been feeling somebody been coming to your, and you've been feeling them in your spirituals. I've been telling y'all, I feel like these unions are coming together. I don't know, but it feels like something might have been trying to keep y'all apart. If this is love for some of y'all, this ain't for everyone. But if that's what you've been praying for, you've been waiting on it. It feels like it's coming, but it also feels like somebody needs to break free. Was somebody still healing from some like some emotional challenges? Feb what's today? February 16th may be an important day if I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. May the 8th as well. Who <laughs> yeah <laughs> look I don't know some of y'all might have dealt with somebody who cray cray it's not funny but this person always look like the, he in a straight jacket even though he not it just kind of looked like that so somebody might be a little stuck on you I'm just saying maybe they don't want to let you go somebody feels some type of way emotions and disruptions what they in their feelings about y'all some of y'all could have ended a tough karmic cycle with somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm telling you, conflict. I can't make it up. Somebody, <laughs> look, and this is coming up with this disruption and the challenge and the obstacles and challenges. Uh-uh, we ain't got time for that. Who holding back they fight? Like, I don't know. Okay, y'all, I don't know if I can make this make sense. But see how, like, he got his hand, his fist folded over his heart. And then, who been fighting back love? And then, I don't know, some of y'all might have somebody blocked as well, child. Because, listen, this conflict, you might find yourself having personality clashes if you're experiencing competition. See, and we, look, that's that five of pentacles. So, you're overcoming this. This is internal conflict because we're not, this just doesn't even feel like, right now this doesn't even feel more external this just feels like you fighting within yourself maybe it's to do what you what you feel like you need to do or what you want to do mm -hmm.
some of y'all finna get ready to fight for what you want and that's what's gonna help you move forward and gain momentum sometimes you don't understand y'all you don't understand why Padre God has you doing something why he has you making certain moves and it ain't gonna feel like it makes sense you're not gonna understand it you're not you're gonna feel like well that why would I do that when this path over here looks easier but it feels like you're like your spirit names are trying to protect you from some kind of some type of conflict challenges obstacles or something or keep you from going down a path that has unnecessary complications they just said what y'all said first of all it's hot can we talk about that it's warm up in this establishment what else which one this one inspiration okay so some of y'all Mm. If you've been feeling creatively blocked, I feel like that's over with. A spark of inspiration will ignite brilliant new ideas. It's essential that you are clear about what you want and follow your heart. Some of y'all have a lot of ideas and you may just be deciding which one you're going to take action upon, which one you're going to actually um, use to help you move forward, like really capitalizing on this one inspired idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's good. Well, no. Somebody's trying to get an idea to launch. Something, something inspiring you, something that you, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So this, okay, thank you. So this is the thing. So they just said... There may be another way. There may be another way for you to market, present something that you're trying to get to launch, something that you're trying to get to take off. So don't be afraid to explore your options. Whatever the idea is, don't be afraid to explore like new ways um, to put yourself out there. Because it feels like that might help to overcome some obstacles of maybe whatever it is you're trying to figure out. Because they just said it's like you're trying to figure something out. You're trying to figure out exactly how you want to maneuver. But the answer is going to come to you. It may come in a quiet time. It may come in meditation. It may come when instead of trying to force yourself to figure it out, that's what there's. Thank y'all. Just let it come to you with this intuition card. So for some of you, it feels like that's this disruption card is given like almost trying to make something happen happen and it feels like the idea is just going to come randomly of how to overcome an obstacle or challenge something that you've been facing this could be internally but this can also be in business as well and this is they're talking about like creative flow like really being tapped in and, and really focusing in on your creativity because it feels like someone's been dealing with some I don't know just like creative blocks but I feel like they're getting ready to be removed just expect it expect them to be removed and then you'll know how the idea the answer is going to come to you. They just said the answer is going to come to you. Just don't try to force it. That's what they're showing me. It feels like with this conflict card, like trying to force something, and that's not necessary. The idea, the answer is, is going to come to you. But it feels like it's going to come when you're not busy, when you're not, when you're just like, you have some downtime with this high priestess that's down here. Mm -hmm. What else? Now, some, I'm just saying this. We, we're not giving this a whole lot of energy, but don't let, some of you might be experiencing, there may be someone around you who's going through some tower moments. Don't let them trigger you, trigger your energy, none of that. Do not allow someone, um, someone else's drama or conflicts to disrupt your own energy. We're just not going to be able to do that. <laughs> like, no, we're not doing that, okay? Because it feels like somebody may be going through some things, child, some challenges and some obstacles that someone around you may have to overcome. Um, so just be mindful of not taking that on. What else? Well, let's do it. We have heart and home that's coming in first. I don't know what the other two are. They're face down. Happy home, belonging, bliss, contentment, established, fulfilled, and legacy. Mm. Some of y'all, you're going after your heart's desires, and it's like your 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 spirit nymphs, your internal accomplice, your higher self is encouraging you 
to go after what it is that you truly want. And this may be creating tower moments within you, but also for other people as well. This It feels like that's what some of y'all are battling, like the need to do your own thing in your own way. Um, so this could be with someone, like this could be with your partner, like maybe y'all aren't seeing eye to eye about, to, about whatever it is you're trying to move forward with, how you're trying to move forward, and that could be creating a little bit of chaos around you. But just talk it out. Make sure, like, there has to be some compromise. There has to be some compromise. For others of you, it's like you're being pulled into your destiny is what they just said. Um, something about, like, what it is. Say that again. What it is that makes you feel fulfilled, happy, um, period. Come on, bonfire that's coming in next. And, and what you enjoy. It feels like somebody's like return to energy. They just not return on the Mac. <laughs> it's just like a return of energy, right? And feeling motivated, inspired, um, sharing your ideas, getting things done. Some of you may feel like this, the urge, they just said, to clean your house, clean your space, cleanse, something like that. I would do that. Mm -hmm. Something is getting ready to ignite within you it's like passion reignited some of you there was something that you were i don't know if you were iffy about or decide or trying to decide if it was what you wanted to do or what child come on obedience but you finna get ready to take action on something and this is what this tower is leo energy number one so 611 may be an important number for you. Um, this is about you asserting your power as well, overcoming conflict, drama, any of any of that. This is you being very determined, being, being obedient. And maybe that's for some of us what has, because I received that part, like Padre God is requiring obedience in this season. And so as long as you're obedient to what he's telling you to do, then you're going to be successful. But a lot of us, that's been the internal battle, like trying to do things our own way. And that's why we feel like there's been stagnation because this tower is giving stagnation and that's what's created internal, internal conflict and also not seeing progress and seeing things move forward. But I feel like things are now going in the right direction for you. Um, be fearless, be assertive, be confident. Mm -hmm. New communities, new people. Some of you may have like unexpected, what, like people? There, you may have unexpected allies, they just said, like people who you wouldn't expect that you would partner with, collaborate with, um, work well with. It feels like you're going to work well with those people. Hello, honey, honey. I finally got out of the depression, depression slump. Y'all know I ain't got my spectacle, my, my lenses and finally getting in motion again. Absolutely, absolutely. I think we all kind of went through, I, I, I know I did for about a week or so while, while I was getting the things together that Padre God has me working on. I wouldn't, I don't really feel like I was depressed. I just feel like it was a, it was just a, a lot of warfare that was happening, especially last week. Um, and then, so, you know, when you're going through tough, tough times, child, when you're going through warfare and when you're getting ready to level up, it be, it can hit hard. And I look, not hit hard. Look, it could hit hard. I'm telling you. And I feel like that's what happened for a lot of us. It's just a level up. So you have to, and so I embraced it. So I hope y'all did as well. I hope you're feeling better now um, that that has, has literally passed. So I hope I will. I say, I hope it has passed. I wasn't really, I had a little bit of emotional feelings. I will say that, but it kind of, it kind of came and went. What else? Somebody's getting their fighting spirit back. Mm -hmm. Child, your spirit name's not going to let you give up anyway. They said they didn't push you too far. <laughs> they said they didn't push you too far. Somebody, look, not Bishop. Somebody might be from Florida. The number 13. Mm, 13B. Is that an airplane flight? Come pick me up. I want to go. Come on, fortress fortified, okay? Um, fortitude, staying power, stubborn. Look, that's what that's what y'all had y'all had to emphasize that one 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 as well. Um, 
Aquarius energy. So some of y'all, your spirit them said they didn't work too hard to get you to this point. Ain't no giving up. Ain't no going back. Hey, hey, I don't know. They're getting you prepared. It feels like a lot of us were just being prepared for these new levels, y'all. And it wasn't easy. I ain't going to tell no joke about it. It wasn't easy. Some of you, they, oh, come on, spirit. Look, y'all. So we're not just talking about learning how to deal with conflict, learning how to strengthen yourself. I feel like as we're getting ready to go into these new levels, Padre God is making sure that you're equipped, that you know how to handle